Hi, welcome to another episode of the Brocade Campus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Uh, this time around, we're going to talk about VRRP Extended or VRRP E, which is a brocade extension onto the VRRP standard. So, what we're going to configure here is we have two devices um, with a link between uh, on the 10.0.0.0/24 subnet. Actually, we're going to assign this IP subnet to uh, VLAN 1 to VE1. So one side is going to be dot .2, the other side is dot .3, and then there's going to be a virtual IP or a floater IP of 10.0.0.1 that will be, um, whoever has the highest priority will manage that, uh, that IP address. Um, so it's going to be used for downstream devices, will use it as their default gateway in order to route out. Um, so one side is going to have a priority of 110, the other side will have the default priority of 100, um, and so higher is better in VRRPE. So whoever has the highest priority is going to be the, the current master of 10.0.0.1. Um, we're also going to assign a track priority, so if we look at the uplink here, we, uh, both sides have an uplink of 1 slash 2 slash 1. Um, and we're going to assign a track priority of 20, so it's going to monitor that port, 1 slash 2 slash 1, and should it go down, it will reduce the device priority by 20. So, for example, on the left side here, we have a priority of 110. If our uplink goes down, our priority will drop to 90, and assuming the uplink is still up on the remote side, its priority will be 100, which is higher than 90, obviously, and it will take over for that address. Um, so, the configuration is fairly straightforward. We have a router VRPE to turn on VRPE, um, and then under VLAN 1, we create a router interface. We assign VE1 with a physical address, so 10.0.0.2.24 in this case. The other side is going to be .3. Uh, we, we create a VRID, so IP VRP extended, VRID number, uh, and then followed by a number. So, this number does not have to match the VE number or the VLAN number, but it should. You can also have multiple VRIDs under a, under a VE or under a physical interface, that's fine. Um, we, both sides start as backups, you assign it as a backup, and then your priority, so priority is 110 on this side, 100 on the remote side. Track priority is 20, so we're going to reduce the priority by 20 should the uplink go down. Then we have the VIP address, which is going to be the same on both sides, so they're both going to service as 10.0.0.1. Uh, and then we have a track port, so in this case the track port happens to be the same port on both devices, but uh, it, it doesn't have to be. Um, it could also be multiple track ports and it will re reduce the priority by, um, you know, the track priority amount each time one of those ports goes down. Um, and then lastly we activate it in order for it to, to come online. So um, the important thing, you know, is the VRID number has to match on both sides, right? And then the virtual IP address has to match on both sides. So the only differences really between the two sides is that the physical IP, dot two and dot three is different, obviously. Um, and then the backup priority is different. So, um, but otherwise, those are the only differences. The, the configuration is pretty simple from that point. So let's, um, let's have a look at our config. So here we're on a 7250. Uh, so we go into config T. First thing I'm gonna do is turn on router VRRPE before I forget. Uh, so that's all I need to do there. Then I'm going to go into VLAN 1, assign a router interface, so router interface VE1. Uh, now, so I now have an interface called VE1. So if I go into interface VE1, I'm going to assign it the physical IP address, right? So 10.0.0.2/24 is what we said we'd call it. Um, so now we are going to assign a VRRP uh, e vrid so vrid1 um, and then we need a backup priority so uh, this is going to be 110 and we said we are going to give it a track priority of 20 so assuming the track port is uh, up then the then the priority for the device will be 110 if the track port goes down, its priority will reduce by 20 and be 90. So then we need a common VIP address, which is going to be shared by both sides. So this will be the default gateway for our downstream neighbors. And then we assign our track port, uh, Ethernet 
one slash slash two slash one in this case. And lastly, we are going to activate it. So it says VRPE router one for this interface is activating. So if I do a uh, show IP VRPE, I can see, um, so uh, for VRD one here, I'm the master. It's administratively enabled, right? So I did a, an activate at the end there. My priority is 110. My current priority is 110. Here's my track priority of 20. Um, here's the hello dead intervals. So those are set to default. So it sends a hello every second and it'll have to miss three and a half seconds before it takes over three and a half hello messages before, it, before the backup takes over. Preempt is true, which means that if um, the backup takes over for the priority, when the previous master comes back online, it will preempt that address or it will take that address back. You can turn that off if you want to uh, leave it on the backup. That's up to you, but by default, it's going to preempt. Here's our virtual IP, 10001. It's generated a virtual MAC address as well, so that the MAC doesn't change when it fails over. Uh, advertised backup here is the, the, um, the way it works generally is that the, the master sends hellos every second to the backup. So the backups know who the master is, but the master doesn't know who the backup is. And it doesn't really matter, but that's an option you can turn on if you want the master to know who the backups are. Um, we can see next hello is sent in, and in this case it's 0.1 of a second at the point where I ran that command. And then lastly, uh, my trackboard 1 slash 2 slash 1 is up. Right. So uh, you could again, you could have multiple track ports. Um, you can change the pr track priority to whatever you want. Um, another great command is uh, show IP VRPE statistics. And so this is a fantastic tool for troubleshooting. Right. So if you were um, say you had a password mismatch or you had an IP address mismatch or hello, uh, hello interval or, or, or any other mismatch or error, it's going to show up in these stats. So this is a fantastic way to, uh, to see that happening. Um, but we should be servicing 10.0.0.1 right now. So if I ping 10.0.0.1, it says ping self done because that is me currently. So I'm going to switch my console over and configure my backup device. So I'm now on dot two, as you can see. So config T, turn on router uh, VRPE. Okay. Uh, go to VLAN one, router interface V1. No, well, there's already one there. Okay. Um, so then I go to interface VE1. Assign it the IP address. So uh, this will be 10.0.0.3 slash 24. Um, and I want to do an IP VRPE VRID1. So remember, it's important that that VRID number matches on both sides, right? If it doesn't, you're going to have a problem. Um, then we are going to set our backup priority. So priority is 100 in this case, the other one was 110. We're going to set a track priority of uh, 20. So we'll keep that the same. Uh, then we are going to assign our, um, our virtual IP address, which is 10.0.0.1. I don't need a subnet mask on there because it, it needs to be in the same subnet as the primary address on the interface. Um, we are going to assign our track port Ethernet 1 slash 2 slash 1. And then lastly, we are going to activate it. So it tells me it's activating. Um, and you can also see that from the syslog as well. I didn't show you that before, but in the syslog, we will see. Um, Here's our interface state change. It went from initialized to backup. So initialized, if you if you have a device that's stuck in initialized state, that means you have no connectivity to the remote side. So the interface is down usually is what the problem is. Um, or um, yeah, so normally normally it's a state of of the port actually being physically down or no ports in the in the VLAN or up if it's stuck in initialized. Uh, so from this side, if I do a show IP VRPE, 
I see my state is backup, right? So the other side, when we looked at it, remember its state was master. So this one's state is in backup. Uh, its priority is 100. Its current priority is 100. Backup priority of 20. Um, these should all be the same as the previous one. Uh, and then we're going to see who the master router is. So as I said before, um, even though we're not using advertised backup, the master is the one that sends the hellos out to the backups. So the, so the backups always know who the master is. They know that the master is 10.0.0.2, and then they know it looks in from when I ran that command, it, the dead interval was currently at 2.6 seconds. So in 2.6 seconds, if I didn't get another hello, I was going to, uh, I will take over that address. And lastly, I can see my track port 1 slash 2 slash 1 is up. Um, so, it, so my priority is going to remain at 100 as opposed to dropping down to 80 in the event that my track port died. Um, you could do also do a show IP VRPE brief, which will, um, if you had multiple VRP entries, it would it would show quickly in there. But so under VE1, here's our VRID, here's our current priority, uh, here's our state as backup, here's who the master is, um, and I am currently. Uh, the backup address is local, uh, and there's my VIP address. So that's a quick way to see uh, multiple. Um, but that's about it for now. So thanks for joining. Take care.